Well, hello there. I'm crazy stupid you, I man. <laughs> uh, welcome to the inbox. This is inbox.exe. That's right. Uh, this is the non tech inbox.exe. I get a lot of questions in my inbox, and they're not all like nerdy, techy questions. Some of them are pertinent, some of them are interesting, some of them are uh, good ideas that I want to share with the community. So that's what this episode is going to be. If you guys expected, you know, like GTX 900s and, and AMD 47 950s and stuff like that, you know what? Just close this channel. No, first you want to dislike, and then you want to say, this sucks, I hate this guy, channel sucks, blows. Maybe talk about donkeys. Sucks and blows, yeah, simultaneously. If they're saying that, they don't know what the word simultaneously means. Console people, if you are if you guys are watching this video, then uh, you, you're in the right spot on the internet, and you want to stay here, and we'll convert you. Uh, praise the Lord. Okay, so first off, I got an interesting email from Strat1219, uh, and this is in regard to uh, episode 17 of The Tech, in which we were talking about net neutrality a little bit. So I'm just going to read it. It's a bit long, but I think it's interesting. And then I want to sort of start a conversation and see what you guys think about it. So he says, hey guys, show's been awesome so far. Fun to watch, great source of relevant tech news. However, in episode 17, you guys argued for net neutrality. And I would like to bring up something which is rarely considered. I'm in total favor of an open, uncensored, limitless internet. I think most people, even those who aren't that tech-savvy, are. So, on the surface, net neutrality sounds like a great idea. However, I believe that the people's access to an open internet needs to come from the bottom up, not the top down. If net neutrality regulations are put into place, we will simply see a change in who is controlling our internet access. Power will be taken away from our ISPs and put into the hands of the governments who will justly regulate it. In my humble opinion, that sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. When I say change needs to come from the bottom up, essentially I'm saying leave things as they are and let the market take care of us. It's a libertarian principle, I've heard that before. Google sees how bad the current ISPs are screwing the people over, and they are doing something about it. They are doing something about it with their uh, beautiful uh, fiber. I would much rather be able to vote with my wallet and say I prefer this service, which I know will not censor or control what I see. Even now, before Google's internet service is in place, most residents and cities have access to multiple internet providers. Depending on where you live, that is true, yes. If one of them is censoring or limiting the content uh, you would like to view, you can switch. If an internet company continues to censor, it loses more and more of the market and eventually goes out of business. Problem solved. Sure, there will be inevitable bumps along the way, but again, I would much rather have options than one body, the government, the government, who could decide one day that maybe the citizens shouldn't be allowed to use torrent technology anymore. They go to all of the ISPs and say, you must block this site. Wait, I'll do this again. As the government, you must block this site. And it is down everywhere. No more access for anyone and nothing the user can do about it. That's just my view. Take it for what you will. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Strat1219. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if the government put laws into place, would they be in total control and would they be able to destroy the internet? Would it be bad? Should we leave things as they are and allow the, uh, the ISPs to basically run rampant and do as they please and then let the market decide? The problem I have with that is, for instance, when I was living in Miami, uh, Miami's a terrible place to live, and the internet access is very limited. The building I lived in only allowed me to have access uh, from, I think it was Time Warner or some nonsense like that, because they had a contract with the building. Now, we had Verizon right outside on the streets trying to get files from the building, but the landlord would not allow Verizon to enter the building. So we were limited to one choice. The second place that I lived in Miami was a little island, and that little island had, oh, I forgot the name of it, some ridiculous ISP, a very small ISP, and that's all that we had on that on that area. And that ISP was run by a Christian organization, and when you joined that ISP, it made you put a check mark on a box that said, "I will not use this ISP to, you know, harass people, uh, post vulgar vulgar things online. I will not look at nude pictures. I will not curse on the internet. Like all these ridiculous rules." And you had to put a check mark on this, and they could disconnect your service if they discovered that you were using their service to like download porn or something or watch porn on your on, on your connection. So there are going to be circumstances like that. That's the problem. So I want you guys to talk about it, even you know, with that in mind. Would it be good or bad if the government, you know, put net neutrality into place? I don't know. I, I have I have no idea. I really don't have any idea. Anything the government's in control of is 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 bad. So that's a very very good point from uh, from Strat twelve nineteen. Uh, this one is from uh, Joe, from Theo Joe. Have you guys seen Theo Joe? 
he's a uh, he's funny. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and read his question. I was wondering what camera and audio recorder you guys use on the show. I'm thinking of upgrading soon. Well, your quality's pretty good, and it's all about the content. If you want to make it on YouTube, and you're already doing pretty well for yourself there, Theo Joe, you need to put your butt in front of the camera and shake that thing. You shake it! Speaking of Theo Joe, let's see him here doing some li lyrics from uh, Nikki Mange, or whatever her name is. She's got the mange, right? That's why her hair fell out, and she had to put on that pink wig. Because she's got mange. All right, here he is uh, singing one of her songs. We ship platinum. Them bitches are shipping wood. Them nappy-headed hoes. But my kitchen good. I, this, what's wrong with the world? Why? I don't even think that was English. <laughs> it wasn't English. It was freaking mange. She, she sings in mange. So you guys can check out the Ojo. There's a link there to his channel. If you don't, uh... Do you want to actually answer his question? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I wasn't going to answer his question. I just wanted to make fun of Nikki Ma Mange or whatever her name is. So what are we using here? This is a Roland R26. I like it because it's a six-channel audio recorder. you got the two channels in the middle there. Omni left and right on the sides. That's left and right. Omni left and right or directional mic. So you can, like, be in a crowded room and, like, hold this close and everything over there on the sides. Like, when we were at CES, it was beautiful. And then you've got your XLRs on the bottom. I feel like George Bush for some reason when I do this. You got your XLRs over there, and you got like a what auxiliary. Was that? I don't know, somewhere between Texas and Alabama. And then you got an uh, uh, auxiliary mic jack on the side, and some uh, takes SD cards, and it's awesome. And then we've got a Canon 5D Mark II, a 50 millimeter f 1.2 lens, and then we got a 100 millimeter macro floating around over here somewhere. It's the new macro with the image stabilization. I quite enjoy it. It makes me happy. It makes my knickers just pucker. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, what's this next thing? Next one is from Jacob Black. Okay. Hey there. Newcomer to your channel, but I love it. It fits my style and what I look for in PC tech perfectly. Why am I reading this way? I have no idea. I'm going to keep it up, though. I do wonder there... <laughs> what do I say there with a British accent? I don't know. I do wonder there... Do you have a Twitter... <laughs> of any kind. What other kinds of Twitter are there? Do you have a Twitter of any kind? I have a, a regular Twitter. It's Logan underscore RTW, and then there's the Tech Syndicate Twitter, which is just Tech Syndicate. I don't really use Twitter all that much because I'm not a I'm not a tweet person. I mean, I could tweet a little bit more if you guys like. I, 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 I'm pretty much full of nonsense all day long. Would you guys like it if I tweeted nonsense? Or do you want my muffin recipe? You're not getting it. All right. Uh, we'd like to follow you. Not in real life, that's creepy. Uh, more importantly, would you be interested in reviewing software such as Linux distros with Valve developing for and on Ubuntu 12.04? I thought maybe a first impression video from you would be a good addition to your video on Gabe on Windows 8 and Steam going to Linux, which you got so many views from Reddit. Hmm. Was that on Reddit? Are you from Reddit? Jacob Black? You want to follow me on Twitter and you're from Reddit? This guy's from the internet. Good. All right. Thanks, and keep doing what you're doing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. Yes, I'll keep that up. Uh, videos on Linux distros? Yes, I'd like to do that. I, you know, I've been using Windows 7, and, like, lately I, I started playing around with some Linux distros, and Linux is just not there yet. It it needs something. I don't know. It needs to be unified. We need some, like, triumphant music behind this, but I, I really would love to move to Linux. Yeah, I'll start looking at some distros. I mean, I've been playing around with... Uh, I moved from Ubuntu to uh, Zorin, and I've tried Linux Mint a little bit. If I have time, I'll, I'd love to check a, a few of those out. If the comments say, like, if everyone says, like, hey, I want to see, like, Linux distro videos, then maybe we'll do some more. But if the comments are like, ah, we, we don't really care. We're all, like, you know, drinking the Windows 8 Kool-Aid. and I like Mac OS. That's the one guy who, like, everyone's going to flame and, like, mark for spam, even though it's not really spam, but it's going to happen. Yeah, uh, inbox at uh, techsyndicate.com. That's how you email this thing that I'm doing. Inbox.exe. Is that what it's called? I don't care what it's called. I just do it. All right. Well, uh... That's the I'm not pleased face, I think. Is that, is that meme dead yet? Should be. Goodbye.
When I say changes, Lucas Viva, I've not warmed up my mouth yet. I do, I do, I do. Feeling frisky with my whiskey. Shark on whiskey's mighty risky. Does it even taste good? It's alright, you know. Crown Royal, because we're from the hood. And God, I need it. At least it comes in a glass bottle. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty smooth, actually. What? Drinking whiskey on inbox.exe. It's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. It's actually pretty smooth. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Give me that whiskey back. Now, it doesn't have great flavor, but it's pretty smooth. Well, yeah, it doesn't set your face on it. It's only uh, 80 proof, anyway. Is that all? <laughs> it's like basically like water, I mean. My water is 90 proof. I don't think they call that water. In Russia, they do. In Russia. It's called the water, yeah. <laughs> Grain alcohol is what vodka. Anyway, uh, yes. The government. The <laughs> fucking government. I'm not trying to do Hide the liquor, here comes the government. Let's see if it's stuff that. <laughs> you don't like that voice? No, I, I might have to actually come over there and punch in the face. But it's the government. No, no, no. No, stay there, stay there. <laughs> Coffee and whiskey, it's mighty delicious. I thought I was going to say frisky again, but I didn't because I'm... <laughs> I forgot where I was. Why does everybody want to watch something that's ridiculous as opposed to, like, something that's informative? Because whenever we do something that's, like, stupid, we get a lot more hits. Maybe we should just do, like, misinformation. <laughs> well, the Apple video wasn't exactly misinformation, and that got a lot of hits because it pissed off Apple people. Piss off people and misinformation, the key to YouTube. Cats piss off. Butt shaking works on YouTube. I've heard of this butt shaking thing. Have you seen this? I want to see you shake that butt. You shake it. You're terrifying. <laughs> Am I terrifying? You have 